Welcome to today's episode of How To With Paul. Today, we're gonna to take this 2007 Chevy Silverado and we're gonna refinish the headlights to make them look nice again. As you can see, they're very yellowed. It's very common that most newer cars have these plastic headlights and people don't seem to understand that it's actually very easy to restore them and get them looking good. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna talk about a few things that you'll need to have to go ahead and do the job to go ahead and start restoring our headlights. One of the things that you're gonna to wanna to have is you're gonna to wanna to have yourself some blue masking tape or any kind of masking tape. The reason for this is we wanna put it around all the edges of the paint surfaces or the chrome surfaces. That way, when you're resurfacing the headlight, it doesn't affect the finish of the vehicle. Um, it's just a protection factor. You can do it without, but I just like to put the tape down just to keep from having to cause any problems with any of the paint, the bumper, the chrome, it's just gonna protect those things. So it's a good idea just to go ahead and use your tape and mask these things off. The other thing that I'm gonna show you is that one of the things you're gonna to wanna to be using is an orbital polisher. You don't wanna use a round polisher that just spins in a circle. This one is actually an orbitable, so it actually changes and vibrates in different positions. This is gonna give you a nicer finish, a nicer product at the end. The other thing is I'm gonna share with you is what I use. Um, many different conversations of people talking about, I've heard baking soda and an orange. I've heard um, there's some products sold online. Um, there's some products sold at your auto parts stores that are specifically made to resurface your headlights. But what I found works really good and actually very easily, I use 3M Auto Advance Rubbing Compound. I could buy this on Amazon, eBay. I've been able to get this at auto parts stores. Either way, this is what I like to use. It gives me the best results, the easiest work, and this is what I like to use. I'll be showing you how to do that here in just a second. Reposition the camera and get in there tighter so we can go ahead and start showing you how to mask off the lights. And then I will go ahead and start doing the actual refinishing. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start masking off the painted parts and chrome parts around the headlight. Um, the reason to do this, especially anybody who's ever done any polishing on anything, you know that especially these corner edges around your paint are very easy to wear the paint down and actually go through the clear coat, past the paint and actually into the metal. So we don't wanna do that. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna mask these things off. Just take our masking tape and we'll just work it around the edge there, try to protect that painted surface. It's the same thing for the chrome surfaces. You wanna do the same thing around the chrome. Um, when possible, I try to actually take the tape and go into the body line. Like on this seam, it's actually very easy to actually put it in there flat and go past it. So you've actually definitely covered that painted corner edge that's gonna be most exposed or most susceptible to damage. And we're just gonna tape that off the best as possible. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tape some across the bottom here, excuse the butt. We're just gonna go across the bottom of the bumper here just to protect that painted surface. Okay. There you go. So now we've masked off. And again, this is just to protect the painted surface so that you're not buffing away any of the paint. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our compound. Again, our 3M Auto Rubbing Compound. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our orbital buffer. This is just a waxer. It's cheap. You can buy these at auto parts stores. I think I paid less than $20 for this one. Um, you want a fairly soft pad. You're going to go ahead and put your rubbing compound directly onto the pad. Then what you want to do is you want to start off by rubbing it into the pad, just manually rubbing it around under this pad so that it doesn't just, just spray everywhere as soon as you turn it on. So you want to go ahead and Work that around the whole headlight just manually so that it works in and actually does start to soak into this pad. Once you've done that, now we're gonna go ahead and start buffing. Um, the main thing that I wanna tell you about doing this just with any polishing is you wanna keep moving as much as possible. You don't wanna stay in one specific area because you can actually cause heat and you can actually damage it. So you wanna just keep the buffer moving along. Let's go ahead and do this and I'm gonna show you how it looks. Right now I'm just kind of working the upper around the edges there just because I want to concentrate. You 
you want to apply a decent amount of pressure, but you don't want to push hard, just a decent amount of pressure and just keep working the polishing back and forth. Sometimes I like to work around in a circular motion. Just whatever's comfortable, just kind of keep the thing moving. You don't want to stay in one place too long. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop polishing for now. Um, you wanna go ahead and you wanna let your rubbing compound start to set up a little bit. Um, you may have to do this a few times to get the, the desired result. Um, I'm gonna let this harden up a little bit, which right now you look at it and you think, wow, that really did nothing. What a waste of time, right? But here we go. We're gonna go ahead and take our polishing rag. And this is just a dry cloth. And we're gonna polish that off. That's taking off the rubbing compound. Now, this headlight was pretty badly oxidized. It still is. And we may have to do a few passes at exactly this. Okay. But you can see it's improving quite a bit. Um, we still need a few more passes. I can actually feel the roughness still in the plastic. So I'm just gonna have to just keep doing this. So you're just gonna repeat that process until they're as clear as you can get them. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna show you on the rest of the camera, but I'm gonna go at this another pass I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video for now, but I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna put some more compound down and I'm just gonna keep polishing away. Stay tuned. Okay, so I did about four different times, four or five different times polishing on these headlights. Um, this is where they've ended up. They are pretty oxidized and I can't quite get them to look brand new and shiny, but you can see there is a humongous difference on the quality of them. Also, I went ahead and I did the other side, and that's how those look. So it's a huge improvement. Sometimes you just can't get them completely perfect because they've just got too much damage. The, true, the trick to this is catching them before they're severely bad. Otherwise, the oxidation is so deep in the headlight, you can keep polishing on it. You probably can get it out, but um, I'm just going to, every time I detail the car, I'll go ahead and polish them again, and eventually they'll get better and better and better, but they're already night and day significantly better. Makes the truck look much nicer. Looks like a much newer vehicle than it actually is now, but those ugly old headlights sure make them look old. Anyway, stay tuned for uh, the next episode of How To With Paul.